Isang magandang araw muli sa ating lahat ang ating tatalakayin sa araw na to ay Visualize Percent and its Relationship to Fractions, Ratios, and Decimal Numbers Using Models. Narito ang mga bagay na dapat nating tandaan. Percent means for every 100 or per 100. The sign is used to indicate percent. Instead of uh, writing the word percent, ay pwede natin gamitin ang symbol na to. Percent can be changed into fraction whose denominator is 100 or vice versa. Percent can be changed into decimal, number, or vice versa. Another one, a percent may also refer to a ratio or vice versa. So let us visualize percent, fractions, ratios, and decimal number. Unahin natin ang percent. Dahil meron tayong 100 equal parts and uh, 40 shaded parts, at ang ibig sabihin ng percent ay per 100. Therefore, the shaded part is 40%. Natin ang fraction. Dahil meron pa rin tayong 100 equal parts at 40 shaded parts, at ang ibig sabihin ng fraction ay parts of a whole. Therefore, the fraction form is 40 over 100. Yung 40 ang shaded parts Yung 100 ay yung total number of parts. Let us proceed to ratio. At ang ibig sabihin ng ratio is comparing of quantities. So let us compare the shaded parts and the total number of parts. Therefore, the ratio form is 40 to 100. Ang 40 ay ang shaded parts. At ang 100 ay the total number of parts. As is decimal number. So there are 100 equal parts and there are 40 shaded parts. At ang ibig sabihin ng decimal number ay parts of a whole. Therefore, the decimal form is 40 hundreds or 4 tenths. Tingnan natin kung ano ang relasyon or relationship ng percent, fraction, ratios, and decimal number. Kung ang ating illustration ay may 40% at ang fraction form nito ay 40 over 100, the ratio form is 40 is to 100 and the decimal number is 40 hundred. Isa lang ang ibig sabihin. We can also write percent in fraction form, ratio, and decimal form. So ngayon, ating nga alamin kung ano ang relasyon or how to change percent into fraction. Base sa nakikita nyo sa ating illustration, meron tayong 8 shaded parts out of 100 equal parts. So, the percent form of the shaded parts is 8%. Paano to isusulat sa fraction? Ito ay magiging 8 over 100. Yung 8 ay naging numerator at yung percent sign, ito ang magiging denominator na ang katumbas nito ay 100. Next is percent into decimal. Dahil meron tayong 8%, paano ito isusulat sa decimal form? Ito ay 8 hundreds. Yung hundreds, ang place value ng 8 ay hundreds. Nakatumbas nito ay ang percent sign. Sunod naman natin ang percent change into ratio. 
dahil meron tayong 8%, paano ito isusulat sa ratio? Ito ay 8 is to 100. Kukunin natin yung 8 at saka yung percent sign, ito ay katumbas ng 100. Kasi nga, sabi natin kanina, percent means per hundred. Narito pa ang mga iba pang example. Give the percent, fraction, ratio, and decimal number. So, unahin natin ang percent form ng illustration na to. Dahil meron tayong anim na may shaded parts at meron tayong 100 equal parts, so the percent form is 6%. At ang fraction form naman ay 6 over 100. 6 is the shaded part as numerator. 100 is the total number of equal parts is the denominator. At paano naman isulat ang ratio form? Ito ay 6 is to 100. 6 is the shaded parts and 100 is the equal parts. At ang decimal number naman nito ay 6 hundreds. Yung 6, ang place value nito ay nasa hundreds place value. Ito pa, ano ang percent form nito? So, ito ay 57%. Okay? Meron tayong 57 shaded parts out of 100. The fraction form is 57 over 100. Then the ratio form is 57 to 100. And the decimal number is 57 hundreds. Subukan naman natin tung illustration na to. Kung napapansin nyo, hindi siya 100. So, paano nga ba ito isusulat ang ratio, fraction, percent, and decimal number? So, unahin natin ang ratio. Ano ang ratio ng illustration na to? Dahil meron tayong apat na shaded parts at meron tayong 10 equal parts, ang ratio form is 4 to 10. And the fraction form is 4 over 10. And the percent form is 40%. Kung paano nakuha yung 40% ay ganito. Divide 4 by 10 is equal to 4 tenths times 100 is equal to 40%. Kung bakit siya minultiply sa 100, dahil iti-change natin siya into percent, it means per hundred. Okay? So, what is the decimal number? The decimal number is 40 hundreds or pwede natin tanggalin yung zero sa dulo at ito ay magiging 4 tenths. Isunod naman natin ito. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong 4 shaded parts at kung bibilangin lahat ng parts nito ay meron tayong 20 equal parts. So, paano isulat ang ratio nito? Ito ay 4 to 20. 4 shaded parts out of 20 equal parts. The fraction form is 4 over 20. Yung 4 na shaded parts ang magiging numerator at yung 20 equal parts ang magiging denominator. At paano naman ito sa percent form? So, 20%. So, paano nakuha? I-divide natin yung 4 by 20 at ang makukuha nating sagot doon ay 20 hundreds. Times natin ng 100, that is 20%. At ang decimal form nito ay 20 hundreds or pwede natin tanggalin yung zero sa dulo, ito ay magiging 2 tenths.
Another example, give the ratio of fraction percent and decimal number. So, napapansin natin, meron tayong tatlong shaded parts at four equal parts. So, the ratio form is 3 to 4. Tatlo yung shaded parts at ang 4 ay yung equal parts. At ang fraction form nito ay 3 fourths. At ang percent nito ay 75%. Paano nakuha? Just divide 3 by 4 is equal to 7500 times 100 is equal to 75%. And then the decimal number is 7500. Diyan na naman nagtatapos ang uh, ating kalakayan sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Ay. nag ng isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Paalam!